The James Webb Space Telescope has just unveiled something that has shaken the world of astronomy to its very foundation. What was once a quiet mystery drifting through the void has now become a revelation that defies all expectations. The interstellar object known as 3 Pi Atlas, a wandering fragment from the deep beyond, has been captured by Webb's powerful gaze, and what it reveals has sent ripples through every observatory and research center on Earth. Before we go deeper into this unfolding enigma, make sure you're subscribed and ready, because the discoveries coming next are unlike anything humanity has ever witnessed. The images are crisp, hauntingly precise. Through Webb's infrared eyes, the cold and endless expanse of interstellar darkness is pierced, and amid that abyss, Three-Eye Atlas glides like a ghost on a predetermined path. But its motion is no longer random, no longer the harmless passing of a visitor from another star. The new data reveal something far more chilling. The object is not passing by, it's closing in. Its trajectory, now refined to the smallest degree, points directly toward Mars. The red planet, long silent beneath its rusty plains, is now awaiting an encounter that could rewrite cosmic history. At first, the scientific community doubted. Perhaps it was a glitch, a margin of error, an illusion caused by the distortion of deep space tracking. But Webb leaves no room for doubt. Its instruments cut through uncertainty, like a blade through mist. The numbers align with terrifying precision. The models converge. Every simulation ends with the same outcome, impact. For generations, Mars has been a silent witness to the scars of ancient collisions, but this will not be an echo of the past. This will be an event unfolding in real time, an interstellar body plunging into a world that humanity has already touched with rovers and orbiters. This is not an asteroid from our belt, nor a comet looping back after millennia. 3i Atlas comes from somewhere else, somewhere unimaginable. It is an emissary from beyond our star's dominion, a shard of another system, perhaps born in the crucible of a distant supernova or cast off from a world long gone cold. And now guided by cosmic chance and gravitational pull, it races toward Mars. Within its frozen minerals and metallic veins could be the fingerprints of alien chemistry, traces of atoms shaped under suns unlike our own. If even a fraction of that matter embeds itself into Martian soil, the red planet will carry within it a piece of another world, a literal merging of two star systems in one explosive moment. Scientists are already trembling with anticipation and unease. They calculate the force of the collision, the unimaginable energy it will unleash. The impact will carve out a crater, vast enough to be seen from orbit, hurling dust and stone high into the thin Martian sky. The debris could linger for years, veiling the planet in a crimson haze, reshaping its climate and leaving behind a wound that will never fade. Unlike Earth, where wind, water, and time erase history, Mars keeps its scars forever. The mark of Three-Eye Atlas will remain, a monument of alien origin carved into Martian flesh. But beyond destruction lies opportunity. Never before has humanity had the chance to observe an interstellar collision in real time. Cameras aboard orbiters will watch the approach. Rovers may record the fiery descent, their lenses catching the glint of something ancient burning through a foreign sky. Instruments will track the seismic tremors, the heat pulse, the expanding cloud of dust as it sweeps over valleys and dunes. Every second of data will be precious. For planetary scientists, this is not just a catastrophe. It's a once-in-history experiment written in fire and stone. Webb's confirmation has also set off waves of speculation in every corner of science. How many other interstellar travelers have passed unseen? Could others have struck planets before? shaping them in ways we've never understood. The gravitational dance of the solar system is delicate, and just the smallest nudge, a brush with Jupiter, a twist in solar pull, could alter an interstellar path by millions of miles. If fate had tilted just slightly differently, Earth itself could have been the target. That realization lingers like a cold breath on the back of humanity's neck. Mars, however, now stands as both sentinel and subject, its role is no longer passive. It will become a living laboratory for cosmic violence. Researchers are already preparing their instruments, calibrating sensors, adjusting orbital trajectories of spacecraft to ensure no angle of the event is missed. The collision will reveal not only the surface response, but the internal structure of Mars itself. 
The shockwaves will ripple through its crust, echoing deep into the planet's mantle, telling stories that even the most advanced drills could never reach. And then there's the chemistry, the question of what lies inside. Three Eye Atlas. The spectral readings from Webb show hints of metallic traces, frozen gases, possibly complex organic molecules. No one can say for sure until the impact happens. When it does, fragments may scatter across Mars, blending interstellar compounds with Martian dust. Future missions could one day land in that crater, collecting samples where alien and local matter have fused, a treasure trove of knowledge about how worlds collide, how elements mix, how life's raw ingredients might travel across the stars. There's something poetic in the choice of Mars as the destination. The planet humanity dreams of calling home will soon be struck by a messenger from beyond the galaxy. Our plans for colonization, our visions of domes and habitats beneath its sky, all of it now seems fragile under the weight of this cosmic reminder. Space does not care for our ambitions. It moves according to laws far greater than us, and in its movements, it reminds us of how small, how temporary, how miraculous our own existence really is. Still, amid the fear and uncertainty, there is wonder. The confirmation has united scientists, engineers, and dreamers around the globe. Agencies are sharing data in real time, pooling resources, preparing for the moment when 3i Atlas meets Mars. NASA, KISA, JAXA, Roscosmos, each contributes its eyes to the spectacle, ensuring that not a single spark or fragment goes unnoticed. Humanity, scattered across nations and ideologies, will look together at one point in the sky, bound by curiosity and awe. As the object nears, tension grows. Every new update from Webb tightens the window of prediction. The angle of entry, the speed of descent, the coordinates of impact, all are being refined with obsessive precision. Somewhere on Mars, a patch of desert, silent for eons, is about to become the center of the universe's gaze. The countdown has begun, and there is no stopping it. Amateur astronomers, too, prepare their telescopes. For the first time, backyard observers may witness a planetary impact as it happens. They will watch the small red dot of Mars flare briefly brighter, a silent flash across the night sky, a light born from a collision millions of years in the making. That single moment, visible from Earth, will carry the weight of the infinite. The cultural waves have already begun to ripple outward. Artists sketch fiery trails across Martian skies. Writers imagine what the rovers might see as the heavens ignite. Filmmakers begin to storyboard the impossible beauty of an alien object, striking a familiar world. The collision of 3 Pi Atlas with Mars has already transcended science. It has entered mythology. Humanity has always told stories of falling stars, omens from the heavens, cosmic messengers. Now one such messenger is truly on its way. Yet even in our fascination, a quiet dread lingers. If this is what can happen by chance, if an object born light years away can find its way into the heart of our neighboring planet, then how many more such travelers roam unseen between the stars? What if others are already inbound, their paths hidden, their arrivals yet to come? Webb has opened our eyes not just to the beauty of the cosmos, but to its volatility. The universe is not static. It breathes, collides, and reshapes itself constantly. As the impact draws closer, the skies over Mars will change. The thin atmosphere will glow with streaks of plasma as 3 Eye Atlas tears through it at unimaginable speed. For an instant, the red planet will host a sun of its own, a flash brighter than anything seen before by human instruments. Then silence. The dust will rise, the ground will quake, and the planet will never be the same again.